and welcome to the Youngstown State Press Conference semifinals round number three. Um, I'm with head coach Doug Kaberski, Madden Grams, and Madison Dosek. Uh, first of all, congratulations on an amazing season. Coach, can you go ahead and give us an opening statement and just kind of recap the match and and uh, how proud you are just to make it this far? Yeah, hats off to Arkansas State. They uh, battled well in that first point. You know, it was a uh, blow for blow, and we got the first punch, and they got the last one in a big way and, and finished off that first point. And uh, you know, we found our stride a little bit more in that second point. Obviously, left lane was a little tricky for us, so we tried a bunch of different things, and uh, I was a little bit slow on making the right move at the end there. But nice to finish with a nice game there and uh, send off our uh, super senior here with a strike. So. And a question. Yeah, Coach, you said, you know, both teams started off a little bit slow. What were you seeing there that, that was causing a little bit of a slow start, and, and what were the lanes telling you? Yeah, our first time on the low end this week, I believe, and, uh, yeah, they transitioned pretty fast. You know, obviously, they're Rever 8. They were using some surface to start, and um, but they had a few bowlers playing to the right with shine, a few playing to the left with surface. I think, you know, so I think the fact that both teams were doing a lot of different things made them a little swirly to start. Um, and then, yeah, that left lane had some weird topography to the right, and, Pretty, pretty interesting. They kind of think parallel left quicker than us and got away from that spot a lot faster. So just a little bit slow on that. But yeah, no, once both teams settled down, it was a pretty solid second point. Megan and Madison, congratulations on a great season. And as your season comes to a close as leaders of this team and a super senior, what do you want this team to be known for? The heart it has. Um, this team has gone through a lot of adversity throughout the years, and no matter what, we continue to pull through, whether it's our backs against the walls in a best of seven, like against Sam Houston, or coming back from an 80 pin deficit my sophomore year against SFA on Friday. This team's known for its heart, and I just want the future generations who come into this program to carry that with them. Yeah, I agree with Megan, definitely the heart, but also I feel like the grit that we have. We never back down from a fight. We always pick each other up when we need to, and I feel like we're very good at just grinding when we have to grind. Uh, so for you, Megan, it says that you are pursuing a master's in counseling. What will you be doing after this? And congratulations on an excellent postseason. Thank you. Um, I'm currently in my internship working with kiddos right now. So the plan is to stay in the Youngstown area. I've built a really good support system there, and I do like the area. So after I graduate in December, I'm looking to take my licensure exam, get my supervision uh, credentials, and then work somewhere and help kiddos. <laughs> and Madison, what are you looking forward to most in the postseason? Um, I'm honestly just ready to get back to work. Obviously, we'll take a few days off, um, but I'm excited. A lot of the team's coming back. Unfortunately, Megan is not, so it's very sad. Um, but we have everyone coming back plus a new freshman, so I'm just ready to put in more work and start the season off strong. Megan, do you see coaching in your future? Um, I'm more so a person who's focused on their career and stuff, and I want to do research. I'm not taking it out of the equation. I'd be open to it, but I want to finish my master's degree before I take on another extracurricular and get my feet wet in the counseling world before I do anything, because at the end of the day, I want to help kiddos the rest of my life, but that could extend to bowling kiddos as well. That's what I was going to ask, if you see bowling as part of a therapeutic method maybe <laughs> um, this is for coach um can you just talk about the growth of madison and just her impact uh this this weekend and this season? yeah it's been pretty incredible you know i think the first year you threw maybe three or four shots um <laughs> last year got some good experience towards the end you can kind of see last march things starting to click for madison and uh yeah she's had quite a season um averaging what 15 pins higher or so this year and uh, it's been a lot of fun. She's a really hard worker, a great athlete, and uh, I found her by accident. So I uh, <laughs> went to recruit Kirsten Moore at a high school event and saw her ball roll down the lane. I'm like, who the heck is that? And uh, here we are. So it's been a lot of fun. She puts a lot of trust in our program, and we put a lot of trust in her, and it's been fun. And, yeah, I'm just real proud of her. Well, well Coach, that's a great accidental find there. <laughs> and and as, as Madison said, you have a lot coming back. Um, from a great season. What does getting to Saturday and having everybody come back do for the future of your program? Yeah, I think it's big. You know, I think we learned a lot from our first Final Four experience and some of the mistakes we, you know, we made, some of the good things we did, some of the bad things we did, and same thing here. I think it's really the same thing. Every event we have, I like to go back and, and be an example for them, hold myself accountable, hold ourselves accountable. What can we learn from the good and the bad? And it'll be the same for the season and for this event. And I think, yeah, having that experience to be on the final day for the first time is going to be big for us next year bringing uh, nine, eight or nine back and uh, definitely miss Megan, but I think we're gonna have a pretty solid group back next year to draw upon this and learn from this. All 
right, thank you guys very much. And thank you. Thank you. Great season. Appreciate it.